So what caused the market to drop this morning? What's going on team? It's Rick you with Tactical Solutions here with a quick little stock market update. I hope that you learned something new. And if you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. So one of the things that we talked about during our live trading session today, uh, I trade live every morning with my Learn Plan Profit Group. And we saw that the NASDAQ market was down right off the bat, right when the market opened. It was down 3.5 to almost 4% right when the market opened. It aggressively sold off. We hit overall lows of like 5.6%, 5.7%, almost 6% down on the day within the first you know five minutes of the market opening. Uh, with that being said, it's like, what is causing this selling pressure? Uh, the NASDAQ was down 1.7% as the overall index and the S&P 500 was down 2%. But one of the biggest contributors that I saw that was actually bringing down the market were Tesla's numbers. So Tesla's numbers were the lowest since they uh, since last fall. Uh, when it comes down to their actual production uh, of and deliveries of last month, uh, it's their highest that they've ever had for, and uh, that was of June of 2022. Um, so although Tesla had one of its highest production numbers and deliveries in one month. It's their overall expectation for the months to come. It's kind of like when a, a stock reports an earnings, right? The earnings for the previous quarter is one thing. There's an expectation for that. But there's also the expectation to continue to do better. And that's where the guidance comes in. And the reason that Tesla is having these issues is their China location, their China plant that, um, you know, really does alleviate a lot of the pressure and the stress from their uh, Northern California plant. And that Shanghai plant, because of the COVID restrictions, has been pretty much shut down. So although they did great for the month of June of 2022, they had huge goals for overall 2022 and, and continuous growth, right? If, if I'm not mistaken, they had seven consecutive quarters where they were beating month over month their production and delivery numbers. As of now, again, this is a negative catalyst, and this is why we're seeing the market dropped a little bit more than I would say we expected coming over, uh, coming through uh, the, that three-day weekend. Um, when it comes down to consumer sentiment, uh, now going back to kind of the Federal Reserve, one of the things that we need to understand is right now the consumer sentiment is very, very low, meaning that they don't have a lot of trust in the Federal Reserve to them actually getting to that target of 2% inflation that they're working towards. Right now, inflation is still north of 8%, and this is something that we're going to talk about in tomorrow's Fed Minutes, uh, or at least see how the market reacts about it. So make sure that, again, uh, you stay tuned to that because we will be live streaming when Jerome Powell and the overall Federal Reserve meets for those Fed Minutes. And again, that is at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Just make sure that you give yourself about 30 minutes to an hour of time for that live stream because it does take some time and sometimes the market does react, sometimes it doesn't. And again, that is 2 p.m. Eastern time. One of the other things that I quickly want to talk about is why is why is the, the idea of the recession such a uh, such a, of a concern? One of the things that we have to understand is that right now, such as the S&P 500 is down 21% since previous all-time highs there's a, there's a technical technical aspect of what people consider a recession or recession territory or we're entering a bear market and i'm sure you guys have heard of it right it's from previous all-time highs when we drop below 20 percent of previous all-time highs so right now we're at 21 percent so although we are below that target and we're in recession territory according to that technical aspect of being down 20 percent the thing that I'm really looking forward to is when we break above that 20%, we could see that to be some momentum of us recovering a little bit more than, than we previously would have, right? Because I do remember when we broke below that 20% mark, there was so much selling pressure and it was just because of that milestone being met of that the market is now down or the S&P 500 is now down over 20%, which again, just instills more fear into the market. With more fear, there's more selling pressure. And this is now the recovery. This is now where we make what we lost uh, on, on that day, right? So it's something that I'm really looking forward to.
but I, I'm excited to see kind of like how, how the Fed minutes go tomorrow, how the market reacts leading into the next CPI data report, which of course we will be live streaming uh, within my YouTube channel. One of the last things that I do want to talk about is, um, again, uh, we quickly chatted about uh, the Fed minutes tomorrow at 2 p.m. And then the last thing was the factory order. So during today's live trading session, uh, we cover the market's reaction to the factory orders. Um, first, it was a little bit more on the negative side, and then we saw some bullish sentiment. Um, so it, it didn't have too much of an influence. I, I really think that a lot of the negative influence that we saw in today's market was just the weight that Tesla has by its selling off and how it brings down the overall market. So uh, I'm very excited to follow up. I hope that you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's Fed Minutes. Uh, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. And again, if you don't want to miss out, you need to turn on that post notification bell. It's that little bell right next to the subscribe button. So YouTube will alert you when it is that I go live. Um, if you have any questions that you guys would like to ask me, I respond to all of my direct messages via Discord. And that's that first link down below. And yes, it is for free. It's over 45,000 members. It's a free trading group chat. And again, you can feel free to message me at any time. Um, you heard me talk about them in this video. It's my Learn Plan Profit Group. They're the only team that I work with on a closer basis, and they get to watch me trade live every single day. So if you would like to see what it's like to watch me trade live, my entries, my exits, my stop loss, my thought process, again, this is the only team that gets to exclusively see this every single day right at market open. It looks like the market's already beginning to recover, so I'm gonna have to post a quick little update. So I appreciate your time. Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.